determine whether the following paths of straight line are parallel or perpendicular. So we know if the straight line is parallel, then the gradient m1 is equal to m2. Obviously, the gradient is the same. If it is perpendicular, 90 degree, so this one is supposed to be 90 degree, then m1 times m2 is equal to negative 1. So what we have to do in this question is that we have to check the gradient for both of the line to see if m1 is equal to m2 or m1 times m2 is equal to negative 1. So this one is parallel and this one is perpendicular. So I just write it here. So m1 is equal to m2. This one is parallel and m1 times m2 is equal to negative 1. So this one is perpendicular. So A, so we have 2x plus 3y is equal to 9 and we have 4x plus 6y is equal to 0. So we can just arrange it in y is equal to mx plus c and then we can get the gradient. So this one 3y is equal to 9 minus 2x. So because we want to find mx, you can arrange it which is negative 2x plus 9. So y is equal to negative 2 over 3x plus 9 over 3 so here you get negative 2 over 3 x plus 3 okay for this one you see here 6 y is equal to negative 4 x because you bring x to the back so y is equal to negative 4 over 6 x because 6 you want to divide it and then you get negative 2 over 3 x so you see here this one this one is 1 right this one is equation 1 this one is equation 2 so you can see that m1 it, is equal to m2 which is equal to negative 2 over 3 x you see here negative 2 over 3 negative 2 over 3 so this one is parallel so this one parallel okay so done So, b, y is equal to 3 over 4, x minus 5. So, we already know m1 is equal to 3 over 4. And then here we have 4y minus 3, x is equal to 12. 4y is equal to, so you bring to the right. So, I put it in front because I want to arrange it in y is equal to mx plus c. So, this one. So, I have 12. So, y is equal to, so divide everything with 4 because I want to remove this one. So, 3 over 4x plus 12 over 4. Here we get 3 over 4x plus 3. So, here you can see that this one is m1 and this one is m2. So, again m1 is equal to m2 which means that it is parallel to each other. Alright, so we are done with B. So C, X minus 2, Y is equal to 6. 2, X plus Y is equal to 5. So here, 2, Y is equal to, so I bring to this side, I bring to this side. So I have my X minus 6. Right, because this one is positive 6, it will become negative 6. So y is equal to, so I divide everything with 2. So here I get half x minus 6 over 2. So here I get half x, 6 divided by 2, I get 3. Okay, for this one, I bring 2x to the back. y is equal to negative 2x plus 5. So you can see that n1 is half. m2 is negative 2. So actually you can see that when this one multiply, m1 times m2 is equal to half times negative 2 so you get negative 1 so you see if m1 times m2 is negative 1 then it is perpendicular so this one is perpendicular so this one is perpendicular so d 2x plus 3y is equal to 9 2y is equal to 3x plus 10 so here I want to find y is equal to mx plus c, right? So this one I bring to the right. So I get 3y is equal to negative 2x plus 
y is equal to root so divide everything with 3 negative 2 over 3x plus 9 over 3 so negative 2 over 3x plus 3 so this one divide everything with 2 y is equal to 3 over 2x plus 10 over 2 so 3 over 2x plus 5 so again this one is m1 this one is m2 so m1 times m2 is equal to negative 2 over 3 times 3 over 2 so you can cancel out cancel out so you have negative here so you get negative 1 so you know when m1 times m2 is equal to negative 1 then it is perpendicular to each other so this one is perpendicular Okay. So, number 2, the following pairs of straight line are parallel such that P is a constant, find the value of P. So, when parallel, we know that M1 is, is equal to M2. So, this one, this is what it means by parallel. So, you can compare the gradient. So, we have 2y is equal to 10 minus x and y is equal to 3px minus 1. So we can find the gradient. So y is equal to, so you can rearrange it in y is equal to mx plus c so that it will be easier for you to pick up the gradient. So this one, negative x plus 10. Okay, sorry, just put it like that. And then y is equal to, then you divide everything with 2, negative 1 over 2x plus 10 over 2 and then you get negative half x plus 5. So you know that your m1 is equal to negative half. So it's parallel. So this one, when you arrange it, y is equal to mx plus c, then the m is also negative half. So this is our m, right? So we know that this one is equal to negative half. So 3p is equal to negative half. So p is equal to so you want to remove 3, you divide with 3, negative 1 over 2 divided by 3, you get negative 1 over 6. Okay, so B, X over 3 minus Y over 6 is equal to 1. So here, if you want to arrange in Y is equal to MX plus C, so you can multiply with 6 so that we can remove the fraction times 6 times 6. So here you get 2 so 2x this one when you time with 6 you are cancelling out the 6 so you get minus y is equal to 1 so you want to arrange in this way right so you bring y to the other side and you bring 1 to the other side negative y will become positive y so you have 2x here when you bring negative 1 1 it will become negative 1 so now you have the m which is 2 so we know that here m1 is equal to 2. So we see another equation. py is equal to 4x minus 6. To get m, we know that we need to arrange it in this way. y is equal to mx plus c. So y is equal to, so you divide everything else with p. So this one will be 4 over px minus 6 over p. So what we really want to compare is the gradient because we know that this one is 2. So we know that 4 over p is equal to, this one is m2 or is equal to 2. So 4 over p is equal to 2, p is equal to, so you change place 4 over 2. So here you get 2.